we've saw great things happen in the last 30 years, I see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, managing toward better, cleaning our bays, getting mm-hmm. people together to be responsible and help mm-hmm. and and take part in cricks and and projects and everything. Right. And I think we've come a long ways, but you know, uh, we just get we get more piled up with uh, with uh, people, mm-hmm. and uh, people means uh, we got to plan better, and we got to uh, understand, you know, where our backyard is, and try to take care of it, and take care of the environment. But mm-hmm. there's so many things that we uh, we have to do more. You know, seems like I I. Uh, uh, y- you know, I make a speech out there, and I'd say, you know, we we're doing a lot, you know, but we got to do more. And what is more, you know, uh, we we, we got to plan better, we got to work together better. Mm-hmm. Uh, the agencies and and all of us, you know, mm-hmm. uh, it's important that um, our agencies and tribes don't get frustrated and and. Uh, you know, you you look at this big picture. It's a big giant picture, and and we're in that picture, and the workers, and uh, they don't see a lot happen, even though they're they're doing positive things right. every day. You know, right. and so we have to energize our own people. You know, to keep going. You know, there's too much greed going on. I mean, you know, people. Uh, People are greedy. They they just have to keep taking and taking and taking from a watershed. How much is enough? Huh? Yeah, and they don't let the watershed breathe, and and the watershed's alive, you know. But if they take and kill it, it'll be dead. You know, it's like anything else, and so it's got to breathe like everybody else. So when you put the pressure on it, you know, and siltation and. Uh, choking the water off where there's no water coming down the animals are gone you know uh, a healthy watershed is where there's rotten fish you know mm-hmm. up and down the watershed and animals are eating off in those carcasses and right. and everything and I saw that right down here this year on uh, right down below the hill McAllister Springs mm-hmm. and Nisqually I took one of the people up, uh, one of the Times, uh, Seattle Times person, and I told him, you know, this is a healthy watershed right here. There's rotten fish all over here, and Mm -hmm. seagulls, and all the birds and animals were eating, Mm -hmm. you know, and so that that was a good, that's good, Mm -hmm. you know, and uh, salmon got back to that creek and died and did what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. We got about, oh, at e- each particular day, you can go down and count about a hundred sea- seals down them off the river. Mm-hmm. And maybe six or twelve sea lions always there mm-hmm. eating. Mm-hmm. And, it, and uh, now that that means they're, they know where the fish are. Mm-hmm. They know that Nisqually's got to run a salmon coming in. And that's their the way they live mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, what we did is we destroyed the food chain all the millions of salmon that along the Pacific coast don't go out in the sea anymore and food uh, feed all the uh, everything out there rotten on the beach and whatever you know mm-hmm. and uh, that makes a difference to the ocean and makes a difference to uh, animals and everything you know uh, Right now we we read about uh, the whales, you know, and why they're dying and they're starving. Sure. You know, I mean, there's we we brought the whales back, but we never brought the food back. You know, there's so much that we can uh, we can do, but I think a lot of it depends on these younger kids now that we're we're uh, that are here today Mm -hmm. that are just starting out in life Mm -hmm. we've done a lot to destroy our country we've done a lot to destroy our habitat and done a lot to destroy the rivers the streams and the bays 
and uh, probably the ocean. Right. And, uh, you know, now we've got to heal all this. You know, you know, and this is what time is coming to, we've destroyed enough. Mm -hmm.